new revolutionary technologies are still to come. Thanks to the Fugal, you can already pay with your fingerprint. And this is just the beginning. The present, the future, the Fugal. Okay, that would be all. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that. Dave. Dave, listen, I, I know the new service is very important to the future for Fugal, but I'm a little concerned that we should spend more time addressing the security issues. What do you mean by security issues? Are there any? Not yet, at least none that we know about. Um, the thing is, I'm not 100% convinced that the application is completely secure. We are revolutionizing the mobile payments market. I'm sure we'll run into some small problems, but you and I, together, can surely handle it, right? Let's play. The success of this project is in your hands. Every choice you make will have an outcome on the success and the security of Fugle Incorporated. What should we do? Look, if it's such a concern, let's engage an external audit of the code. This way they can work on it and we don't have to waste our own cycles. Okay, so uh, let's meet with the team and we'll discuss who we can pull in. Sounds good. Dave! Thanks for giving us your time. Yeah, sure. We were just going over some of the possible options. Okay, so what are our options? Well, if we want to make sure to outsource the job to someone to do the code audit for us, we have to make the right decision. No, of course. Uh, what options are on the table? What do you recommend? Uh, well, we have these guys who've worked with us before. Uh, they've never done anything this big. Just small bits and pieces, things we didn't want to deal with. Um, they should be able to handle this, though. They're not terribly expensive, and the benefit is, you know, they've worked with us before, they know how we work, so there's not much training involved. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Uh, then we have TechSpec, you know the guys that do the federal online services? Yeah. 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 They definitely know what they're doing. They, they work with the very best they'll be worth every cent that we spend on them. We'll just be spending a lot of cents. Okay, how much exactly? Quite a lot, actually. And finally, this new thing. A uh, bunch of InfoSec researchers, they went freelance and founded this company, IT Freaks. Anyway, uh, they're the most affordable of the bunch, and according to Danny, they should be able to do the job fast and do it relatively well. Okay, now if we know our options. You know what, the freelancers always work their butts off. Choose them. Roger, Danny knows all of these guys, so we can get him on board in just a matter of hours. Okay. Hey, Randall. Good morning, Dave. I'm afraid we've got a bit of a situation here. <sighs> what do you mean, situation? The IT team has uncovered evidence that we're under some sort of targeted attack. Uh, whoever's behind this is after credentials using some very credible social engineering. It looks like a number of our employees were sent emails that appeared to come from the help desk telling them to renew their passwords. Damn. All right, how badly were we hit? Well, not that badly at all, actually. Um, our web gateway detected and blocked the malicious URLs, so we're safe for now. Okay, great, so everything's fine. <laughs> Man, you almost gave me a heart attack. I said we're safe for now. I think we should look at how uh, third parties access our internal systems. See, if that same email went out to any of them and they were compromised, then so would we. All right, so you guys did great, but you're right. If somebody wants to get in, they're gonna. Where are our weak points? Well, we can try segmenting the network. Okay, but I'm guessing that's not 100% attack proof. Nothing's 100%. I mean, our weak point is still movable data, USB sticks, CDs, that kind of thing. Data has to go from one place to another. Okay, so that's a long-term project. What else do we have? Well, I would suggest extending a two-factor authentication to cover those same contractors. Yeah, I get it. I'm just wondering if we can afford to spend that much money, you know, particularly with the launch and everything. Well, if you don't want to spend any money at all, 
we can use our internal Active Directory to enforce stricter access policies. We're maxed out on the InfoSec budget for this quarter already, and we spent according to your plans. So you're just going to have to do the best of what you have. Okay, consider it done. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, I'm worried about our data security in general. I strongly suggest we start encrypting our intellectual property as well. Uh, this could be industrial espionage. Okay, it has to be the right choice. Data security is important, but I don't have an unlimited budget. I need to be sure that our investment is addressing the real risk. Damn, you're right. It's got to be done. Encrypt it all. Just remember that my budget isn't unlimited, and after this, the pot is getting empty. Thanks, boss. I'm sure it'll be money well spent. I hate to bring it up, considering the budget and all. What else? Well, I think we should invest in some... Breach detection technology. Remember that Deep Discovery POC we did last year? It's a new approach to security, and with this targeted attack is a new challenge. Failing that, uh, we can have a look at our existing technology, see what else is out there. A technology refresh? Exactly. Get some RFIs out there, make sure we have the best of breed firewalls, anti-malware, intrusion prevention, the whole nine yards. All right, get the breach detection stuff, but get it operational quickly. We don't want any of our competitors sniffing around our network. Got it. I'll get on it right now. Keep you posted. Exactly. So this is how it should work. Uh, Julian, how many journals we already have confirmed? It's going to be a great event. We uh, did a call out this morning, and as far as I know, only Phil from CB4 cancelled. That's a 95% turnout. And CB4, it's not even our demographic anyway, so... Uh, it's a shame, though. He'll miss the Aptest drive. Test what? Oh, I told you about the journalists we have coming to pre-test the app. You know, just a beta version. Nothing to worry about. High-profile bloggers, tech and lifestyle magazines. Why didn't I know about this? Well, you were copied in on the thread. You CC'd me? This is a really critical matter, this event. The code isn't frozen yet. It hasn't even been fully tested by our own QA guys, and you want to give it to the press? Are you crazy? I'm sorry, but we thought you were up to speed with this and had no objections. It's a marketing thing. We have to show them something. Vanessa, listen, I, I know that you think security is an afterthought. Something we can just bolt on when the app is functionally complete, but it's not. Now, I'm not a marketing expert, but I do know that giving something that may be vulnerable to a tech-savvy journalist, it's inviting disaster. What well, cancelling the press conference is actually making the disaster a certainty. There has to be a middle way. <sighs> okay, we need a plan. This is a game-changing app. Coupled with the Hylar glasses, it's going to revolutionize the industry. But without a proper launch, might not even take off. All right. We can invite them in to pre-test it. I knew you could be reasoned with. But only on the devices we provide and on our premises. It'll do fine. Can you arrange it for the next week? No problem. Great. Thank you very much for watching our presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll now leave you in the hands of our capable team. It's really great that we let them come here. We're going to get some great coverage out of this. They love it. Yeah, you know, it's really Vanessa's call, but I'm just not sure if it was the right thing to do. Uh, no worries, we rock. Hello. Ah, hello, Mary. How <laughs> Hi. are you? How did you enjoy the event? Thanks very much for coming. Thank you. Mr. Stevens, this is Mary. Mary Collins. Skytech Magazine. Pleased to meet you. Uh, the app looks really great. Can I get one of your devices for real-world testing? Dave? You know, it's, uh, it's really nice to meet you, but I'm sorry, it's just not possible. Why not? You want me to write a review, don't you? Well, a proper review means that I test it outside your control environment. Does the app actually only work inside your canteen? Of course not. So can I take it outside? So what do you think? Mary, 
Can I call you Mary? What you're seeing today is a prototype. When we have the beta program up and running, you'll be the first to know. Julian will take care of that, but until then, nothing leaves the office. Are you sure? We have the security of our customers and our partners to consider. It's not all about just the PR. It's about the product. You're not taking us outside. Security matters. You can test the full functionality of the app while you're here. Write all you want about it. I'm sure you're going to love it. Stay as long as you need. Okay, thanks. Well played. Really well played. Am I doing That's right? right. Yeah. Just bought yourself a coffee. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right, come on, let's go and show you the rest of the office. Sure. You know, just caught the edge of that thing right there, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gotta go check the phone calls, boys. Be right back. Guys, just give me one second, all right? Hello? Hi. Great to hear from you. Finally. Yeah, yeah, I was in a meeting. What's happening? We're facing a small crisis. We're working on it, and so far I'm pretty sure it's all just a bluff. Yeah, this blog's claiming to have access to our network, to our crown jewels. It needs thorough investigation. What's your comms plan? Of course. Well, from a marketing standpoint, at this moment, we can either prepare a reactive statement or... Or say nothing, right? Exactly. No comment until we know what's going on, which is basically never a good idea. All right, well, listen, we can't leave it without a comment because the rumor mill would eat us alive. Absolutely. We need to get a reactive statement together saying that we treat seriously every claim of this nature and that we are currently carrying out internal investigation to see if there's any substance to it. But I'll need some solid facts from you. Can you give me any guidance when you'll have some detail for me? Yeah, that's actually my next call. I'll keep you in the loop. Sorry to be brief, but I gotta go. Tell me, what's going on? Did somebody actually steal our data? No, th there's, there's no chance that happened. All our bases are covered. Uh, that stuff on Pastebin definitely didn't come from us, and there's been no sign of uh, improper access. What if someone internal just spoke to the press? Even if anybody did, it definitely wasn't any of my team. Well, I never said that. No, I'm just saying. I mean, we could run a quick uh, data movement check. It won't take long, and it should give us some useful information. That sounds reasonable, but will the quick scan be enough? Well, we can try uh, an external forensics team. It's, um, it's an unwelcome and unexpected expense. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, it, if we do that, we're definitely going to have to reschedule the app launch. Uh, but wouldn't it be better to be safe than sorry? I just can't believe we've been putting this position through hearsay. Damn. Well, maybe we won't have to come to that. Uh, I can get the team to check the logs from the breach detection system. We didn't get any alerts relating to the repository and the code, but still. You know, sometimes I'm glad you like to spend all that money on software, you know? I thought I'd never hear that. Well, you may never hear it again. Randall? Yeah, check the deep discovery logs and let me know if anything pops up, would you? Sure thing, boss. Uh, anything else? No, I think we're just fine. Randall? Yes, hey, uh, I know it's early, but I just wanted to call and tell you that there was no evidence of theft of the source code of the app. Uh, so it was a bluff. Good job. <laughs> Wait, that's not all. What we did discover was a targeted attack in its final stages. Uh, they were after millions of our customer data records. <sighs> and they were gonna exfiltrate it off of the servers. Wait, what? Yeah, I know, but the thing is, we were able to uh, we were able to stop that. See, based on the deep discovery information, we managed to secure the data and uh, make sure their access to our servers are terminated. They were after the customer records all along, and they almost fooled us. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> we're as good as we're ever gonna be. All right, good job, Brando. Really good job. All right, I'll be at the office in an hour. All right, see you then.
You jeweling everything right? Uh, yeah, just unpaid parking tickets. Congratulations, you just saved your company from a major data breach. Well played.